Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahavashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahavashai, who we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. It's going to be a quickie, a, a, a real quick one, okay? Our people, you know when our people are doing goods, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Indianos, they tend to Quickly forget about the Most High, who gave it to them. One thing, one thing you definitely learn in this truth. If you're going to learn something, remember good and evil. When we receive good and bad, that comes from Yahweh Shai. But more so, Yahweh Shai is looking at you. He's more so watching when you're not doing so well. Is your faith still the same? Or is it wavering when you're not doing so well? Hmm? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and thou shalt pursue thee. The reason why these curses came upon us and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments, his statutes, which are commanded thee. And they shall be a wonder and sign for a wonder. So it will also be a sign of knowing who the children of Israel are, and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. But it's not going to be forever because we have Yahweh Shai as an intercessor. Because thy service, not the Lord Yahweh Shai, thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, of mind for the abundance of all things. Because he's the one that anything you receive in this life, anything you receive is from him. The faith you were given, the wisdom you were given, the talents you were given, the money you were given, the home you were given. The jewelry you were given. The wife you were given. All these things. All these things were given to you by Yahweh Shai, but our people are not grateful. And this is why when I push this truth, I can never go far enough. I can never go far enough. This ain't the time to slow down. This is the time to pick up the pace. This ain't the, this ain't the time to slow down. We see all these things happening. We should be more grateful than ever, thankful to Wadi Habai Shem Yahavashai for giving me another day. Bear me just a minute. Let's jump straight to Kings Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Before we go to Deuteronomy, let's jump to. Bear me just a minute. Ecclesiastes 11, Baba Kasha. And. 25 okay let's start you know what let's start at this is interesting let's start at 22 the blessing of the Lord Yahusha is in the reward of the godly so again when you're preoccupied on the truth Yahusha blesses you yeah he sends Eve your way but he also blesses you he ain't just gonna have you doing this work and you're just there's nothing there God bless you with wisdom and even carnal things at times. And suddenly he shall he make his blessing to flourish. So he makes what? Your blessing. And part of that blessing is your talent. But that's if it's used. Say not, what profit is there of my service? Baba Kashar, don't be in that spirit. Oh, what good is this? Yahweh Shai sees your labour of love. And what good things that I have hereafter? Because I know certain brothers may be feeling like that. You know, or maybe it's maybe no, no, no. This is the truth. There's no, no, but no, this, this, there's no salakia if, buts, and maybes. You're going to receive a reward, a righteous reward, if you endure. Okay, again, say not, I have enough, and what I possess many things. The flip side, and if you possess many things, who gave you them things to possess? Yahweh Shai, he gave you these things. Okay. 
I possess many things and what evil can come to me hereafter? Because that's how the people of the world are thinking. In a day of prosperity, there is forgetfulness of affliction. Okay? When you're prosperous, you're not thinking about affliction. You're not thinking about Jacob's trouble. You're not thinking about martial law. You're not thinking about the Arphite Egypt. And that's why Esau keeps these people in a perpetual state of mirth, joy. To get their mind off the real issues. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. So when that affliction comes, last the last thing people are going to be thinking about is partying. Okay? They're going to be thinking about food. Survival mode. But all these people in this world are not in a serious mindset. Bear me just a minute. And you can also acquaint that with what? The joy, the things you were given. That's why you've got to be appreciative for this truth at all times not sometimes all the time christians and people of the world you notice they just they want to call upon yahweh shai when something's going bad nope see 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 that's someone that's unfaithful that's not someone that's committed that's someone that's unfaithful wa wavering are you going to have times where you're more lower in the spirit yes but even when particular scenarios and bad things happen, the faith should always be there because the faith, that's what overcomes these things. This is what gets us through. Without faith, how can you get through anything? Bear me just a minute. Let's go to Deuteronomy. We'll shut off on this. Deuteronomy, bear me just a minute. 28. And let's start at... Let's start at... He found him in the desert land. Who? Israel. Okay. As a nation in a waste, howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. So the children of Israel are likened to what? The apple of the Lord's eye is special. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, for protecting, spreadeth abroad her wings. Bear me just a minute. Taketh them and beareth them up on their wings. This is similar to how Yahweh Shai, what? He looked after us. So the Lord Yahweh Shai alone did lead them. Did lead him. And there was no strange power, idols with him. He made him to ride on high places of the earth. We say talking about no clouds, by the way. The high places, what? The high places of what? Canaan. Okay. The high places of the earth. Places of substance. And he might eat the increase of the fields. Because when we came out of Egypt, we all had substance and made him suck the honey out of the rock. <laughs> okay, and oil out of the flint rock. So there was abundance of everything. Butter of king, milk of sheep, the fat of lambs, the rams of the breed of Bashan, the goats, and the fat of kidneys. This is all resources of wheat. And that is drinking the pure blood of the grape. But Jesseron waxed fat got comfortable thought they didn't need Yahweh Shai anymore that's, that's this how our people think this is Jeshurun Max Fat Jeshurun means upright one it's another a name for Israel describing them tender loving so when it waxed fat what does wax fat mean okay they increased in wealth and kicked so if you're kicking what are you do if you're kicking at something what are you doing you're shunning it Kick, despise, trample down. So that's how people get. They get comfortable and they think they don't need Jehovah Shai. We're not supposed to be like that in this faith. We we need Jehovah Shai at all times, especially more, especially more down more more now more than ever. That are covered with fatness. Okay, wealth. Then he forsook the Most High, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Our people got a habit of doing that. They provoked him to jealousy and strange gods with abominations provoked him to anger and they sacrificed unto devils, not to the Most High Baal, to God's idols whom they knew not, to new God's idols that came newly up, whom your fathers fed not. And this is when they were, they were sacrificing their children to Molech. Okay? So this, our people went straight back into wickedness. That's why the issue, I made, I done a lesson a week back, the issue is not so much money it's our people the mindsets 
Okay, but this is why we always got to be grateful for this truth at all times. Don't ever forget that. Always be grateful. No matter the situation, be grateful we got this truth. So until the next time, I hope this was edifying. And shalom.